Well, are you going to do something about this? About what? I've already told... Okay. I was trying to flood my car, but no gas was coming out of the thing, and it was still charging me. You mean the gas pump. I don't care what it's called. Just pay me my 42 cents. Uh, I don't think I can do that. Oh, I don't know. I'll just give you 42 cents back. That's what I was telling you to do! No, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really high right now. Hey, Mr. Shh. I've had enough of this, Eric. Of what? This. I've put up with this for two years, Eric. You knew? You knew? Of course I knew! We have cameras, Eric. I thought at least you would know that. Are you insinuating Chubbs is stupid? That's not my point. My point is, you can't just keep getting high like that. Well, you can't have me deal with roadside idiots all day and expect me not to get high. Yeah, but this time you went overboard. You want another hit? Nah, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, Eric? The hell? Okay. Now I'm ready. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to fire you. I'm sorry, what? You're fired! So you got fired for being high? Ha! You idiot! Well, at least Chubbs kept the job to help pay the rent. Hey guys, I quit the Green Leaf! What? Why? Well, it was boring and I missed you and... What about the rent, Chubbs? Uh... How are we gonna pay for this month? Hey Fred, you think you can- Nope. Excuse me. Hello, Fred invited me over to hang- Oh no, not again. Again? Yeah, I guess you could say he's made a lot of deals and stuff in the past. Are you saying you can help him? Oh yeah, no problem. How? Well, the only reason Fred would even kill himself is either because of someone asking him for money or sex. And judging by the looks of you two, it was probably both. How are you gonna help him? Wake up! Who the hell made me kill myself? That's not I, Eric. That's not I. How did you do that? Oh, and who are you? Oh, I'm Fred's friend from way back when. So, how did you meet Fred? Oh, that's an interesting story. You see, my father was an intergalactic being that could create anything, but he was getting tired of making something and knowing the outcome of what it would turn out. So, one day, he goes to a planet and befriends this woman. He then took her to the cosmos and then showed her his cosmos. He would not know the outcome of this child once it was born, for he could not control her DNA being mixed with his seed. This woman was my mother, and for nine months she floated in space. She did not hunger, she did not thirst, and she was never bored. She always felt contentment. Finally, once I was ready, I was shot out of the womb and landed on Earth at a nearby gas station on a man. Ah! Oh, oh no, that's not good. Fall on me and kill me? Yeah? And then you revived me? Yeah. Did I ask you to? Um... No. And that's how we became best of friends. Ain't that right, Fred? Right! Huh! Neat! So now what? 